Good morning, everybody. My name is Nakia Trader. Thank you so much for tuning in for another verse of the day today. Today is December the 13th, and I'm so excited to be able to bring God's word to you once again. But as always, before we get started, let's pray to the Lord. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you in Jesus' name, Lord. Thank you for waking us up and allowing us, Lord God, to see another beautiful, wonderful day you made. Father God, we thank you for bringing us before your presence, Lord, where there is fullness of joy. We ask in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we read your word, that your Holy Spirit will lead and guide us in all of your truth, that our hearts and our minds both equally be receptive to, to what you are saying. Father God, we know that we can read and read and read, but it's you that gives us wisdom and revelation. And, and that is what we ask for this morning, that we don't just read your word, that we will get into your word and be open to the, to the voice and direction of your Holy Spirit. Please teach us and show us, correct us and discipline us, Lord, as you see fit, as we need. And Lord, when you do all these things, we'll be mindful to give you praise, honor and glory forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So today's verse of the day is found in Revelation chapter 7, verses 16 through 17. They shall neither hunger any more nor thirst any more. The sun shall not strike them nor any heat. For the Lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them and lead them to living fountains of waters. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. What an amazing passage of scripture. You know, this is, is a wonderful picture of what life will be like um, after the tribulation and great tribulation occurs. In fact, these are the ones who endured um, and overcame the great tribulation because um, here in verse 14, um, it says, these are the ones who come out of the great tribulation and washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. This is really important um, to note that even though um, when the new heaven and new earth comes and all of God's people from every nation, tribe, and language, ethnicity, and all types of background um, will come and worship God, it's going to be a, a glorious picture. But this, um, today's verse of the day is specifically talking about those who endured the great tribulation and, and dipped their robes in the blood of Christ Jesus, um, in which their robes became a pure white. Um, this is really important to note because a lot of times we like, to, again, to put ourselves in the narrative. And although we will have a glorious, <laughs> unfathomable life, um, new life in Christ, especially when new heaven and earth comes, um, we have to read as it is in context. Okay. So it's important that we know by reading Revelation that tribulation and especially the great tribulation is, it, it is something. It is something that I believe we, our minds truly cannot really grasp the intensity of pain, um, that, that is, that is so great that, People will plead for the mountains to fall on them, but the mountains will run away from them. People will wish to die so they can have relief, and they won't find relief for the anguish of their souls or the torment of their bodies. That's how severe the tribulation and great tribulation will be for those who are left upon this earth after Christ returns. Um, so I think within that context, we, we, we are able to see the severity of the great tribulation and those who endure and even overcome the great tribulation. This is their reward that they will neither hunger nor thirst. Now there's going to be famine in the land. Okay. Um, they, the sun shall not strike them nor any heat. One of the, um, things that is being poured out on um, man during this time um, are these things, famine and hunger and, and heat. Um, they're going to be stung with big stingers and, 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 and not die. Like They're going to face so much heartache 
Okay. But God promises them right here that those things that they experienced during the great tribulation and overcoming it by the blood of Christ, um, they won't experience that anymore. So they're going to experience peace and rest. And for the lamb who is in the midst of the throne will shepherd them. So the lamb of, of God, Jesus Christ will shepherd his flock. He, they will find rest. I'm reminded of Psalm 23, you know, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want, he maketh me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me behind, beside the still waters. He restores my soul. This is truly a, a picture of Jesus Christ, especially for those who endure to the end. He said, a crown of righteousness is laid up for those who endure, right? So this is a great picture of those who endure to the end where Christ is their shepherd, right? In the midst of them, and he will lead them to living fountains of waters. Again, the correlation, the connection to Psalm 23. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. During the great tribulation, hopefully none of us are around uh, to even see that. Uh, but during the great tribulation, I can only imagine the tears, the anguish, the pain, the hunger, the, 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 the intensity, the heat that these people would have to will have to face. And God promises that those who believe and put their faith in his son, Jesus Christ, who in verse 14, washed their robes and made them white in the blood of Christ, in the blood of the lamb, every tear of their eye will wash away. He will give them relief from the sun. They, he, they will not experience hunger nor thirst. And the shepherd will lead his sheep to fountains of water. What a wonderful picture for those who endure to the end. Brothers and sisters, you and I, hopefully, will never see the great tribulation in our lifetime, but we face different tribulations today in our lives. Make sure that we endure to the end. Put your faith and trust in our Lord Jesus Christ, who is our only hope. Believe that he is. Believe that he is powerful, more greater than, than anything we may face in the here and now. Because the tribulation, great tribulation, will come. And we got to make sure that we endure to the end. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for tuning in for today's verse of the day. I hope and pray you come back tomorrow for another one. And until then, may God bless you. Have a beautiful and wonderful day. Bye.